and COVID-19 vaccines are finally pouring into African countries, but vaccination rates are down partly due to hesitancy. In Gambia, Health Ministry worker Joseph describes the frustrating work of convincing people to get the shot. Workers from Gambia's health ministry are out trying to convince people to get vaccinated against COVID-19. It's hard going. In Gambia, uptake is low, a problem reflected across the continent even as vaccine doses are finally rushing in. On this day, in the middle of a week-long vaccination outreach campaign, the health team led by Joseph Mendy only got 10 takers. He says he'd been expecting 300. You have to convince them that the vaccine is safe, it's good, it's beneficial before they take it. Only 17% of Africa's 1.3 billion people are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. That's in part because richer nations hoarded supply last year. Now doses are arriving, but vaccination rates are falling. The number of inoculations down 35% in March, according to WHO data. Evan O'Connell is a spokesman for the Vaccine Alliance, Gavi. It's really uh, not now getting doses into countries, but getting doses into arms. That's the, um, that's the challenge now. We have the supply. Part of the problem is hesitancy and misinformation. This is a continent where big pharmaceutical companies have, in the past, run dubious clinical trials, resulting in deaths. Mendy's next stop was a university where he says students have been receiving information about the vaccine. But he still encountered refusal after refusal. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Some ignored him, others said they were afraid of needles. Very afraid of injection. After five hours, he decided to change location. So you see, it's really, really frustrating. It's really frustrating. This is a situation we find ourselves in. So. The coronavirus did not rip through African countries with the same devastating effect as in other regions. Youthful populations and low testing rates may have camouflaged its spread and blunted fears leaving vaccination sites empty and millions of unused vials piling up. The poor coverage looks set to widen a gulf between Africa and affluent countries, where vaccination rates have soared above 70 per cent. That also worries health experts, who say large unvaccinated populations increase the risk of new variants emerging. To boost uptake, countries are focusing on mobile vaccination campaigns, sending teams into communities to educate and offer doses on site. But such outreach is too expensive for many African nations, and health officials and workers say donor funding has been slow to arrive. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.